All right, let's take a look at uh, let's take a crude oil. Nice long here in our last long side setup. Really nice long. Let's take a look at it. All right, what do we like to do? Let's first break down crude. Let's skinny it down to the whole entire session here. The session since midnight tonight or, or, or today. Let's look at the big inflection points on the crude trades we had this morning with overall trend direction. The first thing we need to establish, first of all, is we have to establish trend. Now, if you haven't read my PDF, it's on at daytradingthefutures.com. Uh, read that PDF. It's about 135 pages, I believe. I give tons of trade examples of exactly what I'm talking about. And then do yourself a favor, and you'll find out the natural rotation of the market that's been working since 1985. Play that video right above my picture right there. I got a picture in the Traders Expo where I spoke to traders in November. Right above the, my, my picture there speaking to the traders, we've got uh, a video right there for you. Play that video. It tells you about the natural rotation of markets and how to trade market profile. Those are the first two things you have to do if you're new to the trading room. Play the video on the front page of daytradingthefutures.com and read the PDF. All right, and then we periodically update these training videos to help you. What has been going on this morning in the natural rotation is this. The market can only do two things. It can go vertical or it can go sideways. I want to look when I first log in at this magenta MA. If it's angled down, then I want to be selling retracements. If it's angled up, I want to be buying retracements. Now, how do you buy and sell retracements? The best way to buy and sell retracements is a natural ABC pattern that we trade off of on a, what's called a break retest of profile. I have a couple profiles that's in the trading room. The solid lines are more volume based. These dotted lines are more price based. So if you see a solid thick line that's more volume based in the market, my blue is the most volume that's traded. You'll look at the last couple of videos and you'll notice that blue line called the high yesterday, two days in a row, stopped it to the tick yesterday and stopped it to the tick the day before on the QM and the CL. So what I want to do then is when the rotation is down, I'm going to look for a natural rotation, ABC short break. Look how broke my high value area. Every, everything in red is high value. Break, retest within two, maximum three ticks. And once you retest that high value area within two, maximum two or three ticks, I want you to look for a negative market delta, a red closed bar on my great chart over here. That's going to let you know that that's a highest probability trade setup you got because it's catching the wrongly positioned traders. So if I'm in a downtrend, that's a first order of business. I want to look for a break retest of my profiles. So broke retest in my high value area. Then she comes down, price comes down, and I come down to low value area, green. If you're in a downtrend, if you read my PDF, you'll notice that I do not buy low value area in downtrends. I only sell high value, break retest. You want to let LVA break retest LVA then. Let it break down. It actually closed below my control point, long term control. Let it retest and then look for negative market delta on my great chart. So these two trades were back-to-back -back trades earlier this morning. The trend was down. I'm not buying any setup. I'm not trying to buy my high value, long-term high value. I'm not trying to buy the control point down here or my LVA. I'm letting the market break, retest. Now it looks like a little hook. It can be like a little J hook, a little fishing hook. See how it hooks back up and then it continues. That's a natural rotation in the market that you've been seeing since 1985 with market profile. If I'm in a downtrend, it's going to break, it's going to naturally rotate back up, and then I'm going to see a continuation. It's called an ABC short. I like calling it a one, two, three pattern, but it's the same exact pattern. It's called a little hook pattern. Break, retest, continuation. Then it comes down to low value area. Break, retest off of my LVA rotation. Now, Look what happens when we get back inside of the control point, long-term control here. Even though the trend is down, I get back inside the control. It rotates back and retests the control. I get positive market delta, and the market explodes back up. Then the last trade that we just had, and you guys got on, I asked who got on in the room. You guys got on this trade. It broke out of my high value. Look at the trend cross back up. My smaller moving average crossed over my longer term. We use moving averages for trend only. 
It crossed over, so we look for a natural break, retest, and that was a nice long position this morning. Okay? If you notice, the one thing I'm going to show you is that we all we are is taking natural break retest with trend direction. But you'll notice what, what these last two trades were great launching points because it's called a rejected area. This is our main break retest earlier this morning for early morning traders. It broke, retested. If you see a market profile that holds within a couple ticks and it stops, it does not close above it in a downtrend by the body of the candle, only the wicks. If it rejects it and price tanks off of that, that gives us a future launching point to look for a break retest on the other side because it's going to catch the wrongly positioned traders that are short. So in other words, when it broke retested the high value, and that was a short for us with trend, that's how our methodology states. If we're in a downtrend, we'll let profile break, retest, simple ABC, try to get short. Break, retest, try to get short. Break inside, retest, get long. Break outside, retest, get long. So we know, we know that over here, since it rejected earlier, that this is going to be a good launching point, and this is our, our nice trade. Look how we broke outside of it. We broke outside of high value area. It rotated back down to my control price control, which is blue. This is two times stacked area. Now I want positive market delta, and we got that nice trade. That was all based upon the rejected area that called the previous trade. Look at the previous trade was a break retest and a downtrend. Now the market's in an uptrend, a break retest and an uptrend. All four of those trades are related. Why? Because the last two trades were actually rejected trades on the previous two, first two trades. So this first trade, break retest, actually launched this fourth trade because it, it was old support becomes new resistance, old resistance becomes new support. So this is a launching point on a retest, even without market profile, but market profiles line up right on it. So what I'm telling you is, is you can cherry pick your market profile trades by looking for rejected earlier trades off market profile. That's going to be probably a good spot to look for a break retest. Okay? So if you break retest, and you're in a downtrend, you know that this level is going to be a future point to trade off of because it just got rejected. So if it got rejected, then I know that this trade that happened this morning before 7.45 this or 7.50 this morning, we knew, and this is the traders you got on, it's a natural rotation. It broke out. Cut all these wrong. Look how big, big five-minute bars were up. Five-minute bar up. Five You've got bar up. mail. Why do we have big, giant five-minute bars up? Because it's catching all these wrongly positioned traders, algorithms, hedges, and prop firms that are short. They're stops. So what do we do? We look for a natural hook pattern. Looks like a little J hook, a little fishing hook pattern, or I call it an ABC or one, two, three. You break out, you retest, and this is where we want to go long. Once it comes within maximum of two or three ticks, look for a positive market delta over here. Here was our positive market delta green. See our green bar that closed over here, positive market delta. Open up at the next bar. Your stop loss is two ticks below that swing low. Scale on the first push up to symmetry dots on this J signal chart are the first 10 to 12 ticks. And then you try to get to the next set of symmetry or next market profile. My point is, is that these first two trades that work successively on my market profile, it set up this next trade and it set up the trade we just got in because it's bounced off my profile. Now the market is trying to do what? It's trying to do a second test within two ticks of 52.12 again. What did I say to you traders this morning? 52.12 is a major inflection point, right? So the second test you're allowed to take for possible long, but never the third test. If you take a second test, I would not even use market profile, market delta, I'm sorry. I'd wait for the first green bar reversal here on J signal. Once it closes there, your fill is going to be 21 long. It just hit your first 10 ticks on this 
second test trade on two times confluence. I would use original market delta on your first break retest, and I would use J signal as your entry, because in other words, second test trades are more dangerous. If I close green and I get long on the first green bar at the open of the next one, if it closes back red on the first couple bars, take a small profit, small loss, because you're taking, you're taking a second test trade. The second test trade right there, it's just happening right now. So now we just got out of our first target. Our first target just hit as we're doing this video. And this is a live setup that just happened right now in the, in the room. So you can enter with Market Delta. Look how Market Delta turned also. Market Delta turned positive 268. Anything over 200 is a major market imbalance on crude oil. So if you look at the inflection points this morning then, there's your inflection points. Now what's funny is, is that this last trade was a rejected level off this level also, the second test trade. That's why we can take second test trades. This was a rejected level. So what to do? Rejects it again. Another rejected level. So those are the only trades that you're allowed to trade according to my methodology. In other words, we're smarter than our average trading opponent that does not use market profile. Even if they use market profile, they don't, they don't have the market profiles that we have. I don't use a 30-minute market profile. I don't use all volume during the day. I don't use that. All market profiles out there, pretty much, that I've seen, use a 30-minute market profile. That's why they don't work. They're hit or miss. And I also take volume out of the market. I don't use 24-hour day market or 23 hours, 23 hour, 24 hour day market volume. I take a lot of volume on the market. That's why this is so accurate. Do you think it's just by luck that it came down here, stopped within two ticks and bounced again? Think it's by luck it bounced here? Think it's by luck it came, bounced, broke, retested here, broke, retested here, broke, retested here? Yesterday, QM, look at yesterday's video, stopped at the exact tick. HVA stopped at the tick on the QM. Do you think this is just, do you think it's exploding here just by chance? That's the internals of the market. We're trading the internals. These are the internals of the market. You come within two, maximum three ticks, two times confluence, pop yourself in a trade. The reason I take this J signal on a second test trades of an area, it's low risk. I'm risking around 60 bucks on that trade, 21 fill, it's up at 40. That's over a $200 trade potential, and I risk right around 60 bucks on the trade for one contract. It's high reward. That's the difference between us and traders that don't know how to trade market profile. We trade order flow, and that's what we do. Make sure you trade off market profile. I cannot stress that enough.